So this lecture is on significant figure rules. And the reason why I'm doing this lecture is because at the beginning of every semester, um, my students struggle with trying to understand uh, when to consider a digit or number significant and when not to. So what this lecture is on is just the rules that guide the determination of how to determine a number or a digit to be significant or not. So when performing science, math, and engineering experiments, it is important to know and to recognize a sig when, a, when you have a significant number or digit or figure. Uh, significant figures help to express precision, for example, when we're doing measurements. So how do we know when to consider a figure, same thing as digit in this case, as significant, in other words, important, to the measurement, calculation, or an experiment. Well, let's talk about the rules. So significant figures, um, rule number one, probably the easiest of them all to recognize, is that all non-zero numbers or figures or digits are significant. All non-zero numbers, figures, or digits are significant. Rule number two, all zeros between non-zero numbers are significant. All zeros in between non-zero numbers are significant. Rule number three, all zeros to the right of the decimal point and, both have to be true, at the end of the number are significant. All zeros to the right of the decimal point and at the end of the number are significant. All zeros to the left of a written decimal point and are in a number of magnitude 10 or more are significant. All zeros to the left of a written decimal point and are in a number of magnitude 10 or more are significant. Rule number five and the final rule, all zeros left of the leftmost non-zero number are not significant. All zeros left of the leftmost non-zero number are not significant. So let's take a uh, look at some examples to sort of drive home the, uh, the rules. So example number one, how many significant figures are in the number below? So let's give you a few seconds to take a look at this. Okay, so based off of rule number one, there are nine significant numbers or significant figures or significant digits in this number. Let's look at example number two give you a few minutes to look at it again. All right, so as you may have guessed, again, there are nine significant figures in this number. Again, we apply rule number one in order to uh, prove this. Okay, how about this? How many figures, how many significant figures are in the number below? I'll give you a few seconds again to look at it. Okay, so as you may have guessed, six significant figures are in the number above, and the, uh, rule number two proves that there are six significant figures in the number above. How about this one? How many significant figures are in the number below? Okay, so again, because all those zeros are between non-zero numbers, we can say that there are six significant figures, and again, rule number two is the rule that we use to figure this out. How about this number? Okay, if you, do, if you did notice that there was a, a decimal point after the last zero there, so that means all three of the zeros, or pardon me, all three of the digits, one, zero, zero, are all significant figures, and this is based off of rule number four. How about if we had this number? How many significant figures are in this number? 
Well, in this case, we have five significant figures. In order to, uh, to justify this or prove this, we use rule number three and rule number four. Rule number three, remember, says that the zeros at the end, after, at, to the right of decimal point, those are going to be significant. And rule number four says that the zero there in a number larger than 10 with a written decimal point, if the zero is to the left of that written decimal point, then those zeros become significant also. So therefore, we have five uh, significant figures in this uh, number. How about this number? How many significant figures are in this number below? Well, in this case, there is only one significant figure in this number, and that significant figure is the one out in the front. Okay, that significant figure is the number one that's in the front. And that's based off of rule number one. Okay, how about this number? How many significant figures are in this number below? Okay, well, in the number below, there's only one significant figure, and that's because rule number five, all those zeros before the left, or pardon me, before the rightmost, uh, leftmost part, uh, significant uh, number being the one, all those numbers left of that are, are not significant. The one is the leftmost significant or non-zero number in this case, rule number five applies, and so therefore there's only one significant figure in this number. Okay, so hopefully you found this um, quick lecture to be very helpful. Uh, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lectures on science, math, and especially engineering type material.